Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, so I'm awake, and my boy Jackie's on the line. Yeah. I jacked into that corpo's bio line. You know, a neurovirus. Or yeah. See Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. I want some threads. Meet me downstairs. Thanks, Jackie. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and meet with Jackie. Let's see what we're doing today, honestly. And I also got my nice little katana. I can't wait to use it on people. And who's calling me? Casey, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? Yeah, like. Gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Okay, cool. So I get random phone calls from people who somehow get my my number. Like, no big deal at all. Around and beat up a robot? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Curious to see how he handles the likes of me. Okay. So how about it? Alright, I'm in a mood to beat some ass. Let's go. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Got you. Alright, let's go. Let's go. And what? And what? Ben, that hole. You think you can mess with me? Come on. Never thought of monetizing it. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? Uh. Go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Cole's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. Aw. There's ways of fixing that. Forensic cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. Okay, now problem. Well, either way, I'm not in the mood, but thanks. Yo, Jackie! Woman of the hour. <laughs> it took you long enough. Cooked up an appetite just waiting. I can tell, eating some Sit ramen. Up, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Okay. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles, check. Since sirloin, check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. Ooh, <laughs> I miss that. You mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering yeah. right, or just had a brain fart? Yeah, what's a surprise? Because you usually forget shit. Oh, fuck you so too, bro. <laughs> I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean. Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coupe. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. <laughs> Didn't. Oh, but T Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Ah, that's Stop. why. It was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Come on, Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Okay, so it's cool about getting the job, but who's this Dex person? What's the latest spec on him? No, you got info to spill. He'd been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. So why is he back? Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What the hell was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. With a fresh crew, found us. Hmm. That sounds pretty suspicious because if he lay low for a while, why is he back and why does he need us to do this job? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Deals riding on you now, chica. 
Why? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Well, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Hmm. I better not be jumped. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Okay. I still don't see Dex why I have to. When it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is strong. Okay. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Exactly. Thank God. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. All right. Well, either way. Top-notch work, Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. Yeah, cause you Let's fucked up my up. car, bro. We rolling or what? Vamos. Let's feel this factory new ride. All right. Let's see. Oh, he fixed it. Good, cause do humping Toro, Jackie. Like, yes. Okay, Nene. Well, no one told you to stuff your face, come on out, Mochino. Oh, tell me more. Aw, that's cute. I'm really happy for you, Jackie. I feel like you and Misty are definitely gonna be together. Alright, let's go. Wow, this is Misty's place. Well, store, but it's cool. Hey. Dr. Vector will see you now. All right. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Of course you do. You two behave. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Hmm. Uh, we got a new job lined up. Ay, Dios mío. Of course he's going to be gossiping about that. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god, it's a kitty cat. Hi! You're so cute! Anyways... Hey, yo, you got a gun. I miss my sister. Bro, please don't play with the gun like that. You're gonna miss your head. Hey, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not gonna be part of that. Anyways... Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Yeah, I got a virus. Migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. So he is big what? business. Something you're not telling me, Vic? Yeah, what is it? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Noted. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally. <laughs> yeah. Shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Get in the major leagues. New tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Mm, no, but crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. Exactly. Mm. Come on. Last time. 
you're here. Yes, got it. I promise. Now. Sure, please. Sit down. Relax. <sighs> okay, time for me to be beefed up with this slow robotic technology. Ugh, I hate Rose surgery. Optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Is that like name brand stuff? Now check in. Okay. Groshi, whoa! Heck, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. <laughs> of course. All right. Fuck it. Let's go. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Okay. But say no more. Let me see here. I'll take that. Yep. I'm confirming that way I can have like good optics and then obviously one for my hand right here and I'll take that yep and there you go I should be good to go mark one like I said decent enough scanner displays data on your cornea Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Yes. Remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. As long as the face is covered, I'm all set. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. Okay. I'm ready. Carve away. Oof. Let's do this. All right, I'm going under a knife. I got goosebumps already. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Okay. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. I guess that's a good trade-off. Just like that. Thanks. All right, uh, Vic. A bit of anesthetic and I can start Wee! Oh my god. Okay. Feel anything? No. Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know. Not as if things are going to be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what uh, do I know? I'm just a doctor. <laughs> That's what I thought. Mm -mm -mm. Lights out for a minute, all right? Ooh, ooh, okay. Thank God I can't feel anything. Let's test this. See the magic in action. Okay. Thinking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I trust you. You know what you're doing, so I'm not worried. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Uh, give me a oh, minute here. Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Hey, wow. So Wow, that's I so cool. NCPD file search. Uh, yeah, what I can tell. <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Bro, that's amazing. Like, I literally have a database right in my brain. That's sick. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Deadass? Like, I gotta see this. 
Hey, I see it right on my lower right hand side of the screen. Like, bro, that is crazy. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. Oh, shit. Sure. Sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Yes, because that virus is really messing me up. Thank you so much, Vic. You're not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Okay, bet. Say no more. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. Bet. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. I'll see you later, buddy. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Don't worry. I will. I won't. I won't. <laughs> All right. I. You're such a pain in the ass, Jackie. Whatever. Hi, Gatita. You're so cute. Hi, baby. You're still here playing with that gun? Hey, yo, you hella reckless. I'm done. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. Oh, look I at them flirting. You, Anyways. Yeah. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us out. Okay. Well, you do your thing, winding your chakras, and I'll go talk to this guy. I still think he's too. Who's this? Okay. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Okay. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. The remember, okay. You're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. Okay. I hope that's all clear. Yeah, it is. Mm. Anyways, let me talk to Dex. See what's going on. Hey, yo, this is a shootout right there. Nah, I'm good. Let me mind my business. Same here. Mr. Deshaun in the flesh. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Yeah, what's it? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Uh. Just some sort of test. Uh, just a pet topic of mine. Oh. Ontology. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab on. Okay, but why us? I've got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Yeah. Could have had Jackie or T Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned. I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Okay. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Okay. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. No, okay, so give me the details. What's the job? There's this prototype cat. A biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Simple. 
Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Damn. Surely that's no problem. I mean, I did it before, but that was like a pain in the ass to escape. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of it. And I sure hope so yourself. too. Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys needs active resolving. That. Of course. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Who brought us the jobs anxious? She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay. So tell me more about the client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> of course. Anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Yeah, Pretty beating sweet. people. Alright, so... What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Okay. A classic tale for you. Okay. Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I thought I purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Of course. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shift group, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. So who's who's her? The Prima Donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it now. Okay, awesome. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're not too bad so far. But then again, that's just so far. At least I didn't get jumped. I thought this whole meeting was suspicious, but yeah. Quiet life or blaze of glory. Hmm? Honestly. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his base. Wants to put us on a few small keys. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> yeah, he don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Hmm. 
So he's definitely extreme. That's cool. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Honestly, I wanna go talk to Parker first. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Yeah. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. See you, Jackie. Bye. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.